Ben Higgins is waiting to tie the knot with fiance Jessica Clark before they enjoy their own personal and private fantasy suite. AKA, they are keeping things PG-13. This is your Bachelor Brief. Ben joined his fellow Bachelor Nation alum, Nick Vial, on his hit podcast, The Vial Files, to discuss life in quarantine and his recent engagement to Jessica. He confessed that not only are the two sleeping in separate beds right now, they are also waiting until marriage to have sex. Wait, do you sleep in the same bed as Jess, or are you guys separate beds till you're married? Separate. Uh, has Ben had sex in the past week in his uh, full house of his uh, soon-to-be parents-in-laws and, and brothers-in-laws? Uh, have you and Jess been fornicating? But I don't think they are at all, right? Yeah, you're you right. Sne- you're right, Michelle. You sneak, sneak one in. No. Uh, no, but are you guys like waiting till you get married? Yeah, 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 you're right. That's so like definitely not this week and not in the last like <laughs> year and a half. Yeah. But sleeping apart isn't exactly new to the lovebirds who have dated long distance for the entirety of their whole relationship. And also noted that the pair don't really know when they will exchange vows due to the coronavirus pandemic. The reality show revealed that they even considered eloping, but changed their mind when they realized what they'd be missing out on. Going in circles about this, because we both were like, yeah, we could definitely see it, but what are we giving up to do that? And so that's why we said, okay, let's separate, write down our must-haves for a wedding and see if an eloping, el- elopement or whatever you call it uh, could work. Um, I could see that. And then having a big celebration with everybody later, I mean, that could be fun and exciting. Um and a lot less stress. But then again, like at the end of all of this, this is Jess's day. Like this is our day as a couple, but like I want to make sure that she has the wedding she's ever always dreamed of and that she feels celebrated. Ben popped the big question to Jessica back in March after a year and a half of dating. Just a few months before he got down on one knee, Ben gushed about Jessica to us and confessed that he couldn't wait for her to be his forever. Jessica and I are doing great. Um, she is my best friend. She's my biggest supporter. I hope she would say the same thing about me. I think she would. Um, we are we are moving forward. Um, I think now it's still a fun part of like, when does it happen? How does it happen? What does it look like once we we are uh, taking that next step? You know, I'm getting ready to go on tour for four months. Um, that throws a little wrench in the whole thing. Um, but as far as our relationship goes, it's never been stronger. It's never been better. Um, and the best part about Jessica and I's relationship is uh and and i mean this i mean this in the most like i think like it's so normal and real like my life has just been enhanced with her in it 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 hasn't nothing's been taken away it's just been added to so jessica and i are doing great um and i see uh, i see a really really great future for jessica and i and one that will take that next step fairly soon you know i think uh if you would ask me this three years ago i would have felt the pressure of bachelor nation Um, This has been so much of my life now that I actually, weird enough, I feel very comfortable living within Bachelor Nation. Um, I don't feel as much pressure uh, from from the fans and from the contestants on the show anymore because I've gotten used to it. I know what they want, know why they're asking me why we're not engaged yet, I know what their desires are, they want to see me happy. Um, It's been a year now that we've been together and I think after a year if this, if I was never on The Bachelor, or because I wasn't a bachelor, I would just look, start looking at, hey, this needs to either move forward or it needs to end. And, and luckily I'm looking at it going, this, this needs to move forward.